hello students so we are starting uh, with a problem okay we will uh, solve a problem on i section uh, how to calculate shear center about uh, for a unequal i section okay so let's see the question so here is the i section given you can see it's it is unequal okay it's a unequal i section so how do we can uh, calculate shear center for such question uh, such a uh, section okay so here uh, just see that there are few terms uh, i have written here you should understand that s1 okay s1 i have shown here s1 is going in this direction and s2 is going in this direction okay again you see here s1 in this direction s2 in this direction okay so s1 okay uh, see the one flange it is having a size of 30 mm okay and the other is 40 mm so these are the details s1 is a shear force produced s1 is a shear force produced by external applied shear force f on one part of the flange okay so because of this shear for uh, because of external load this is the shear force produced so how it will flow okay so here uh, because of this it is going in this uh, flange is going in uh, this load is traveling like this okay and this is traveling like this and then it is going away from this side so uh, s1 is a shear force because of external load and s2 is a shear force produced on the other part of the flange okay so this is because uh, produced in the other flange so s1 s2 s1 and s2 now again observe the direction if you see the flow okay now this is the load and uh, this is the load acting like this at a distance of e so we are going to find out what is that e distance that is what our question is okay but before we reach there the flow of the shear force just see here that for s1 it is like this so it is in a anti clockwise direction and for s2 it is going like this it is in clockwise direction okay so this is the uh, few things uh, this you remember and the uh, web thickness is 10 mm flange thickness is 20 mm okay it is 20 mm and the overall height of the uh, i section it is 150 mm now let us uh, uh, try and solve this let's get the solution okay so here is our uh, i section now for the unequal i section let us find out moment of inertia of i about x x axis okay for this unequal i section let us calculate moment of inertia so moment of inertia for these two flange first one two there are two number of flanges so two into bd cube by 12 so what is b b is 70 okay so whole it is 70 and d is 20 so bd cube by 12 and then again area plus a into area is how much it will be here 70 into 20 into h dash square or y dash square so what is that y dash square it will be total distance is uh, this is uh, 150 okay so distance between this to this axis so it will be 75 okay so total is uh, 75 this distance is 75 minus 10 when we do so we will get 65 okay so uh, that will be a uh, moment of inertia for flange now for web it will be uh, db cube by 12 so what is uh, uh, here bd cube by 12 so b is 10 and d is this height okay that is 150 minus 20 20 so 110 this height is 110 this is 110 This side is 110. So let us write calculate is 2 into B D Q by 12 plus area into let me just elaborate it 150 by 2 that is 75 minus. 20 by 2. So this is 65 total. Plus for the web, so with this we are getting solution as 1303.5 3 
0.2501 millimeter raised to power. Okay, this is the uh, this is our i x x value. Now let us see that F F is a shear force applied on the section, and I also told you what is S one S two. It is shear force. Now let us calculate uh, these values. What is S one and S two? So let us find out S two. To calculate S two, now consider a length x and thickness d x from the one a tip of the flange. Okay, so consider a uh, length x. So let us consider this is length x. We decide that we will consider the small strip. This is the x. And this height is twenty. Okay, this is x. This is dx. So, so let us consider a length x and thickness dx from one tip of the flange. Now, the shear stress at a distance x is given by. So, how do we calculate shear stress at any distance x? So that is equal to tau is equal to f a y bar by i b. Okay, we know this formula. So, what is f? F we don't know what is f into area area of this small strip 20 into x what is a y bar y bar is 150 by this is y bar okay this is y bar 150 by 2 so this this to this distance that is 150 by 2 uh, minus 10 uh, 20 by 2 so it is 65 Divided by i, i value we got it as one three zero three point two five into twenty. So with this we get tau is equal to four point nine eight seven five into ten to the power minus six. In terms of f we are getting answer and x also. Okay. So this is one equation we got. Now uh, we know what is this is b. Okay, so we have written this. This is the B. Okay, I B is this one. Now uh, let us see what is the shear force in the elementary area D A. Shear force in the elementary area. So we we'll write the equation as tau into D A. Now what is dA? Tau into b into dx. Okay, this is the b. So b into dx. So this is dx and this is b. So b is twenty here. So for this particular, okay, for S two, for S two, our integration limit will be zero to forty. So let us add it. Zero to forty. Tau tau is four point nine eight seven five into ten power minus six into f into x into twenty dx. So when we solve this, we can take all these things out of the bracket and we will integrate x dx. Okay. So Four point nine eight seven five into twenty into ten power minus six into f and x square dx will be x square by two. So we can simply write here x square by two. Limit is zero to forty. Okay. So when we substitute limits here, finally we get this value as seven point nine eight. Into ten to the power minus two in terms of f we were getting answer. Okay, so we got shear force in elementary area D A. Now let us find out what is the so we got what is the shear force in this element area. Okay, uh, so we did it for S two. Now let us find for S one. Okay, to find S one. 
so let's go to the next page so to calculate s1 to calculate s1 so here to the total shear uh, force s1 for the flange of length 30 mm okay s1 is around 30 only so let us write total shear total shear force S1 for the flange length so limits will be 0 to 30 tau into B into dx so 0 to 30 4.9875 into 10 to the power minus 6 into f into x into 20 into dx okay so tau value simply we have substituted so when we solve this again so we arrive at 4.9875 into 20 into 10 power minus 6 into f and this is x square by 2 limits are 0 to 30 here so we get the answer as 4.488 into 10 to the power minus 2 f okay so this is the value of s1 we are getting now let e be the distance of shear center from the center of o okay let e be the distance of shear force from the center o of the web hence it is the point where external shear force f is acting okay so consider moment of shear forces consider moment of shear forces s1 s2 and f about point o so now this is s1 this is s1 this is s2 this is s2 okay so s1 if you consider this s1 s1 into this distance is 65 s2 into 65 they are all in same direction so s1 into 65 plus s1 into 65 so this is s1 we it is going in anti clockwise direction okay so overall this sign is negative similarly s2 into 65 and s2 into 65 s2 65 plus s2 65 is equal to f into e okay so this is f into e anti-clockwise direction I can simply write it here minus equal to 0 or I can simply uh, bring it in this side of the bracket so this is nothing but 130 s1 minus of 130 s1 plus 130 s2 is equal to f into e so with this I can write e equals to s2 minus s1 into 130 divided by Okay, so when I solve this, I get the answer as 4.54 millimeter. Okay, so shear center is at 4.54 millimeter. So this is by taking, you know, this is a longer procedure. Properly, we are taking a section and then we are integrating and we are arriving at this solution. Now, uh, let us see uh, alternative method. Only simply we can substitute this these all values in a formula and we can get the answer so i am writing uh, it here only so here the formula is e equals to you remember the formula okay h square into t1 v2 square minus v1 square divided by 4 i x x now what is h h is a height of the section height of the section minus t1 by 2 minus t2 by 2 okay so both the flanges both the flanges means this is the distance this is the h distance 
this is your h if you want to use this formula then you should know what are the terms okay now b2 what is b2 b2 is a longer length of the flange up to the center line of the web so longer length so this is your b2 means 40 mm this is your b1 okay so when you want to solve this problem using this formula you should know all this terminology so now i told you this h is it is from center to center distance edge t1 is thickness of the flange okay that is 20 mm and b2 is longer length of the flange and b1 is shorter length of the flange till the center web till, the, till this distance we are using so now simply substitute all values so 130 square into 20 into 40 square minus 30 square divided by 4 into 1303 1. so e value we arrive at the same answer 4.538 millimeter okay so this is the alternative method to solve this problem so you either way you can use based on how many uh, marks are there for the question so okay students hope uh, this is a simple question and i hope you understood it thanks for listening thank you